Youngstown State versus North Dakota State. This is an excellent one. I'm really excited about this football game. Youngstown State coming off a loss against a top 10 FBS team uh, in Kentucky. And then obviously everybody knows about North Dakota State, you know, the quarterback factory in the NFL. Take me through this one. Oh, you know, I, I think I really want to focus, I think, my misfit games going forward on the FCS, because if we're going to talk about college football, we need to talk about all levels of college football. And it's so easy to get swept up into you know the SEC and the Power Five conferences or teams like Appalachian State or Marshall that pull off just, you know, un, unforeseen upsets. But the FCS is as much college football. When we talk about ex- game day experience, are they packing stadiums of 100,000? They are not. But they are packing consistently to capacity at places like North Dakota State and even Youngstown State. Now, Youngstown State has fallen out of the top 25. They're not in the FCS top 25, but they are a traditional FCS power. So even, and they tend to run pro-style offenses and defenses. So even if you they are going on the road, you have to consider them part of the, uh, part of the equation as far as can they upset a team like North Dakota State? They're the North Dakota State, depending on the poll you look at, is the consensus number one team in the country. A lot of people will tell you it's Montana. Some people even tell you it's South Dakota State. This is their homecoming game for North Dakota State, so another reason I wanted it to be a game that gets featured. North Dakota State, after the halftime festivities are over, I don't want to say they wake up because they're in every game and and they play hard every play, but they just seem to run away every single week after once the second half begins. They put up well over 240 yards against South Dakota last year in the second half alone. Uh, Youngstown State has been giving up a lot of turnovers. They cannot do that here against North Dakota State. North Dakota State forces a lot of turnovers. So it'll be interesting to see actually what happens, you know, in this game. I'm I'm picking North North Dakota State. I think they're they need to bounce back and prove that they are the undisputed number one team in the FCS rankings. Uh, But if you can find this game on one of the streaming services or a few of things like Fubo or whatever, where you've got like Fubo game one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you might be able to find that game there. I had it here where it might be broadcast. And of course I lost it. So I'm going to have to just kind of vamp a little bit, but uh, if we're going to talk about the FCS every week, we're going to need to talk about North Dakota state every week. We're going to need to talk about that, you know, the, the big sky and Missouri Valley conferences every week. And it's going to be a fun game. Youngstown State um, is as close to a pro-style FCS team as you're going to find. And it'll make the game interesting early, but I think North Dakota State uh, pulls away late. If it's anything like last year's game, North Dakota State won on the road against Youngstown State, 49-17. to This game you could find on ESPN+. Plus. Most of the FCS games you could find on ESPN+. Plus. Definitely a good streaming service uh, for college football fans. 2 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, over in the Fargo Dome. I love that name, the Fargo Dome. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. I'm excited for that one. Uh, 